Good day, everybody. Well, we're here with a, another video of the walkthrough of the Avon Descent. Now, this will be the last one in the series of hard places because this is the last hard place on the Avon Descent route. This is Bells Rapids. In front of us, you see the footbridge. And from here on, there's no more rapids. And the reason we're up on the, uh, up on the hill here is that down on the footbridge there it's way too loud for you to hear me talk so I'm just going to talk a little bit up here and then we're going to head down on the footbridge and I'm going to show you the chute itself. Now Bells is the last uh, set of rapids in the entire valley. The valley is I think 50 something 53 kilometers if you want to measure it from fossils of, uh, of non-stop rapids. Non-stop. <laughs> there are plenty of pools and uh, Terry Bolland has written a book that explains every single uh, every single obstacle there is in on the whole Avon, in fact, uh, from northern onwards. But especially down the valley, he's named all the rapids. He's uh, got photos from uh, the from the early 2000s, and he has a detailed description drawings of the route down the rapids. I would I would uh, extremely recommend you buy Terry Bolland's book uh, and or source the information. Uh, from him uh, if you can. I will, I will explain Terry's, Terry's roots down the valley, basically. So this is the last, the last of the rapids, as I said. Um, we are, there are gonna be links below for every, every major shoot uh, down the valley. You'll see numbers next to those videos from past years. I take a video at every major obstacle. Some of those obstacles are not really worth um, explaining in this video, so I'll leave them out of this uh, of this uh, uh, how-to video. So this is Bell's Rapids. Bell's Rapids is made up of three major sections. This is the main chute. The second uh, section is called Devil's Slide, and then in between is a little section called Sidewinder or Side Swipe, and then there's Dog's Breakfast, which is the, the the bottom section of Bell's Rapids. Each one has its own challenges, and you'll uh, have to refer to the videos below to see exactly what to do in each situation. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the valley itself now because the last time I left you guys was at Super Shoot, which was way upstream of here and was the first uh, major rapids of the valley. So from Super Shoot you'll come down and it's not called the wall, it's called, um, and I forgot the name again now, but it's, it's a little tiny chute which is very easy and very fun and uh, it, it sort of begins the valley I guess. You come around Super Shoot and then uh, a little bit further down you go through, um, you'll see the video link below, I forget the name again, I'm silly. Um, so from then on, then it's Quarry Bend, then it's uh, stod Stodgy Porridge and, uh, and Rice Pud and from then on we got Razorback. Razorback and Emu's, Emu Falls is about the first real big obstacle of the, uh, of the valley. Razorback uh, is, a, is a series of two or three uh, drops of shoots, and it has an island in the middle. I suggest going left, as you'll see in my 2017 video linked below. It, uh, it was a pretty good run for me. There are rocks, obviously, to hit, but uh, rocks to avoid, but plenty of space. Emu Falls is one of the big five again, and requires you to do a few different things. Now, I suggest if there are boats in the water, and uh, your path is blocked, I suggest you portage Emu Falls after the second section called Scorpion's Tail, which is when you take a big left-hander, come around the corner, and you've got, that's well, actually the first section, sorry, Scorpion's Tail, and then uh, you portage on the right-hand side. Now, after Scorpion's Tail, we have a section called the Shredder, and uh, this year, 0.6, or below now, possibly, Shredder is going to be a, a good challenge. It's gonna have rocks out of the water, they're going to be on either side of you and you're going to have to be turning to the left and to the right. After the shredder is the hardest part of Emu Falls which is called the washing machine. The washing machine, at high water it's quite easy or easier, but at lower water like, like it will be for this race, it has a series of rocks, kind of like tombstones, that will stand up in the water, and will be out of the water, and you will have to na navigate through them by turning your boat to the left and then to the right. To do this, there are two ways to do it basically. You can shoot it with power and try and turn your boat with speed and uh, look specky, but that, that, that's not the way, I'll explain in a moment. The other way is to back up and go as slow as possible and let that water push your nose around. For me in a, in a small short boat, 
that is absolutely perfect because my boat is the perfect length to then get pointed exactly where I need it to go. If you have a longer boat, you may have different results. So don't take my word for it that you will, uh, that you will come through perfectly. But do not take it at speed because there are tombstone rocks that you need to avoid. Three of them uh, this way. You come down, you need to turn to the left, and then you need to turn to the right. There's another tombstone rock here. Now then, there's another rock below, which is an overhanging rock. So what you don't want to do is come through at speed and have to wipe off that onto that overhanging rock with your shoulder or head. What you want to do is have no speed at that point and be able to turn your boat to the right and miss that overhanging rock on your left. And if you have speed and you do that, you will then be shooting off to the right-hand side of the river, which has rocks on it, and at point six, the rocks will be out of the water and right in front of you. So you do not want to have speed. You want to slow down. You want to be facing river downstream as much as possible, but you obviously want to avoid the obstacles in the river. So that water pressure is just enough at point six to push you around those rocks at washing machine at Emu Falls. So Emu Falls should be very, very doable and very possible at point six. Again, if there is a line of boats waiting and if there is a yellow or red flag being held by the, uh, by the safety marshals, then I suggest jumping out on the right-hand side after coming round Scorpion's Tail, which is the top of Emu Falls. You jump out on the right and then you put in below the washing machine. As soon as you can, pop in the water again. Don't walk down the, the bank. You can keep walking for half a K before you realize you're way past the rapids. So jump in as soon as you can. It's a little bit rocky, but you can jump in. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue. After Emu Falls is Ford Cruncher, which is an interesting uh, Ford concrete chute. That'll be very, very steep at 0.6 this year. So go on the extreme right-hand side of the river. You'll see the video 2017. I, I, I don't think I did it correctly. I went in the middle, I believe. <laughs> go around the right-hand side, come down. Like a, like make a V with the a river bank on the right and the chute on the left and come down at an angle but then be ready to straighten up uh, when you get to the bottom. There will be rocks, you will hit stuff but that'll be where the most water will be going. Uh, it's not that, not enough, not really enough water for Ford Cruncher. From then on you've got a, a lot of white water, a good series of rapids, all very, all, all much easier than Emu Falls or, or Razorback. Uh, and then You've got a uh, section called uh, Bone Breaker and Raging Thunder, about 500 meters, two rapids, one after the other. That's about the only other obstacle that I need to remember because it's got a, a series of complex maneuvers. You'll see in the video below, you approach on the left-hand side, take Bone Breaker on the left-hand side of the river, extreme left, in fact, pop down, miss all the rocks, and then you need to head over to the right-hand side of the river for Raging Thunder. Raging Thunder is the part where there's the ledge on the left that you'll, you, if you go on the left, you'll go over the falls. And then in the middle of the river has some rocks that stand up again, kind of like tombstones. You want to miss those on the right hand side. You want to be as close to them as you can be on the right though, because there are things on the right that you want to avoid as well. So stay in the water, stay in the, uh, the flow, uh, but keep those big flat rocks on your right hand side. And then as you see, you'll pop out below there. And then there's another chute, very similar to this little playboat wave here. Uh, and it shouldn't be any trouble for you. So from Bonebreaker Raging Thunder, we've then got Moondyne, and then we're at halfway through the valley. We've got Stromhills Farm and uh, Hearts Farm, and then from there on, we should be home and hose, we say, but there are very many uh, rapids and complex parts to go, but we have trained that area more, and Lookout Rapids is really the next uh, sort of difficult part. There, there's Heart Stopper. My dad finds it difficult, but I find it pretty much fine nowadays. Hart Stopper is just uh, just where the Brockman River joins uh, the Avon River, which is about two kilometers upstream of Lookout Rapids. So you come down from Moondyne, middle of the rapids, uh, middle of the valley, Strom Hills, another maybe five or six or seven kilometers, and you'll get to uh, and you'll get to Hart Stopper. Hart Stopper has a tree in the middle of the river and two sides of the river join right at the rapids. And you'll see a big kind of rock ledgy thing on the left-hand side of the river. What you want to do is try and approach from the left-hand side. I think you'll see in my 2017 video. Approach the, approach the rapids from the left, come in, 
miss those the rock ledge on the right, but then miss the tree on your left. So come between the tree and the rock ledge and then angle your boat towards the right hand side of the river or at least into the flow. Do not go left and you'll be missing all of the trouble and you'll come through. No worries. From Heartstopper, you'll be at Lookout Rapids, which if you've trained a lot, then you'll know Lookout pretty well. Uh, Lookout is accessible from uh, a car park above the water, which is about a 30 minute walk down to the river. So you can do that uh, uh, with, with a car. And uh, Lookout Rapids is fairly straightforward. You'll see in the videos. And from Lookout, we've got Champs and then Sid, uh, Fortress Champs, Sids, Terminator, Bells, uh, uh, ter uh, Wayunga, Terminator, uh, Sids, Wayunga, Terminator, Bells, all things we know. but. Each one of them is, is difficult in its own right. So I'll explain quickly that championships is, uh, is, is fairly easy if you know what to do. Hug the left hand bank. Very easy, come in left hand side, far as you can left. Uh, at the bottom, don't cut the corner as much as you think you should because I think you can because it will be shallow and you will hit rocks on the left hand bank below championships. After champs, you've got Sid's Rapids. Sid's Rapids will be uh, rocky this year. Stay in the main flow. Keep your paddle in the water uh, at the bottom section. Obviously, stay where the water is, but then be ready to turn hard left at the bottom. Don't cut the corner at the bottom. Head for the big tree. Head for the overhanging tree on the right-hand side. In fact, wrong way, but then uh, uh, while you're in the main flow still, turn left as, as early as you can, but don't cut that corner. Uh, from Sids, we've got Wayunga, and Wayunga is easy. Uh, Terminator. Come round the outside if you can and line up the rapids with it facing you. Don't, don't, cut the, don't cut the corner and take it side on because you will get washed left into the trees. The danger at Terminator 2 is being washed left into the overhanging trees and then being forced out down below. Uh, what you can, I'll link some videos below of what happens to uh, people who lose their paddle there. <laughs> and then from Terminator, it's to Bells here. So that's the whole valley. And if you've followed my, my videos and taken my lines, hopefully you've come through unscathed. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll leave this one up here now and I'll go down to the chute and just show you quickly what it's like down there. And then I'll sign off down there. But you won't be able to hear much of what I say because the rapids are so loud. This is a, a little path down here that you can walk up. This road up here is a, is a private uh, railroad, so a railway service road. So you, you shouldn't really walk up there. Um, they use that for railway access. Here we are coming down to Bells Rapids footbridge. Remember, of course, this is a 360 video. You can turn it around. Here we are at the main chute, people. I'll just point you around and you can see. Okay. <laughs> you see it's quite challenging and you probably can't hear me, so refer to the text below to learn how to shoot Bell's Rapids. Slay up!